I remember renting these movies as a kid. Remember the Titans is also Disney? What? Oh my gosh, I love all of these movies. So today, we will be taking a look at every movie Disney has ever made. We're gonna be here a while. I love Disney! Well, we might not show every movie, but recently Disney released a three hour long video on YouTube wow. that showcases every TV show and movie that will be available when their new streaming platform, Disney Plus, launches. Mm, that's a really smart way to make more money. I don't wanna get it, but I feel like I'm gonna end up getting it. To get you a little bit more familiar with the content that's gonna be featured, we separated this three hour long video into three parts. So first up, we're gonna show you some of the classic films that will be streaming on the platform. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be exposed as fake because I have not seen a lot of Disney movies. I remember renting these movies as a kid, like from the video store. Like this is my childhood right here, this section. Okay. Cinderella, yes, we love her. Alice in the Wonderland, Peter Pan. Okay, I love Peter Pan, but like I haven't seen most of like the OG films. Lady and Tramp, uh, I don't know that one. Sleeping Beauty. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. It brings back, oh, Mary Poppins. Oh, I didn't know Disney made Sound of Music. The Aristocats is like my favorite movie, hands down. Well, Star Wars. Back in the day, the first one I think I saw 10 times. I'm the biggest Star Wars freak in the world, bro. So when I saw that they're dropping exclusive content on Disney Plus, I'm gonna have to go get me a subscription. I love the rescuers too. Oh, the Muppet Show! Dude, like, give me a freaking break. Like, Animal and the Swedish Chef, I don't, it's hard to see. If I was gonna put like a list of top 10 most influential things, the Muppet Show would be that. No way. Spider-Man? F***ing Disney, man. Oh, wow. Care Bears was Disney? No, that's not Care Bears. What is that? Oh, the Gummy Bears! <gasps> I watch that on Saturday mornings. Oh, my God. Uh, DuckTales. Un... Believable. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Yay. The Simpsons? Okay, wait. It's gonna have all of the Simpsons on here. I'm getting a little bit more excited as I see a bunch of these things. I'm going to try to get Disney Plus because I love the Simpsons. This is unbelievable. I can't believe all of these. Oh! Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, I'm a Disney guy. Was that X-Men? What? The Sandlot? Dude, classic. Hocus Pocus, I just watched that. Oh my god. I just saw um, Boy Meets World up there. Okay, hold up. I love that show so much. Okay, I'm getting it. Nightmare Before Christmas is on. <laughs> oh. Lion King. I'm just excited about a lot of the old stuff because I haven't seen a lot of it. Younger kids don't really watch the classic Disney movies. They watch like all the new ones. So this is important. I can't believe that Disney put out so many movies. They were all fascinating. They were wholesome. They were fun. Disney will live forever. So fans are talking about how the new streaming service will contain Disney's entire library. This means that the illustrious Disney vault is ending. So do you know what that is, the Disney vault? I don't, but when you said Disney and then I, I heard vault and then I heard ending, I don't know, I'm scared. What so, does that mean? The Disney Vault had classic films like Snow White, Cinderella, and many more that were unavailable for consumers to purchase. The films would come out of the vault and go into stores every seven years so that new generations could enjoy the classic films. So now with the introduction of Disney Plus, this vault is no more. Yeah, dude, so now every kid gets to watch the Disney stuff. I've never been scared for Netflix before, but I'm scared for Netflix. <laughs> So up next, we have a montage of some of the more Gosh, modern dude. movies and shows that are coming to okay. the platform. Okay. Let's see what we have. Heavyweights, never seen it. Goofy movie, I have. Toy Story. 
I still haven't seen Pocahontas, so I really want to, so this is a good excuse. James the Giant Peach, ugh. Kazam. Hmm, Donald Duck. Just success after success. See that, that's 1997, but the animation quality like looks so vintage and I, I, it's so cool. <laughs> oh, Winnie the Pooh, love that. Recess, oh my God, bro, middle school TVT. Flubber. Yes, Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> Sorry, just gotta like shout out to my girl, Lindsay. That was like one of my favorite. I love Frank so much. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen these movies in such a long time. Santa Claus? Ah, what a good movie. Bugs Life. Some of me didn't realize they were Disney as I'm watching them now. 10 Things I Hate About You. Why have any other streaming service? Inspector Gadget. Johnny Tsunami. Oh my gosh. Annie, yay. There was a Tigger movie? Oh, they made a lot of movies in 2000. Remember the Titans is also Disney? What? Oh, Emperor's New Groove. Oh my God, Lizzie McGuire, I'm so excited for the sequel. Oh my God. Look at how wholesome these movies are. Monsters, Inc. Oh, Snow Dogs. The Rookie also. And Lindsay Lohan, they kind of went all in on her, didn't they? That's so Raven, yay! Favorite movie ever, Finding Nemo, the best. It's amazing. And how many big stars they get into their stable. There's so many good movies and shows on here. Wow. Okay, it makes sense why they're like the richest company, you know? Damn. I'm so screwed when this comes out. Oh my God, the greatest game ever played. I'm a golfer. Oh, do I love that movie. Oh my God, Chicken Little. I take back what I said about like Nemo. That might be like my favorite movie ever. High School Musical. Are they adding like all Hannah Montana? Like, Jesus. Oh my God, I was just re-watching Hannah Montana the other day. So I discovered that I have like the old uh, DVDs of it. So now that I won't have to like, you know, attach a DVD player to my computer to watch the show, that'll be nice. It's unbelievable. Disney made so many films. They're ageless. Phineas and Ferb, I love. Okay, that's how I used to get my students to write. I would have them summarize episodes of Phineas and Ferb. Oh my gosh, I love all of these movies. Iron Man, oh yeah, dude, Marvel. Oh my God, bro. Marvel is Disney, The Simpsons is Disney. It's amazing how many of these I've seen. <laughs> See, now there's no excuse for you to be like, I've never seen that movie. To be able to sit down with your family and enjoy these movies with some popcorn. I mean, what a great night. And more Muppets. I'm all in for Muppets. <gasps> Gravity Falls! Oh, wreck it around. I'm literally so excited. I love it, I love it, I love it. Frozen came out in 2013. What I'm thinking about is like, you know, for all streaming platforms, there's an app, right? How much storage is this gonna take on your phone or something like that? I never saw The Good Dinosaur. I've always wanted to see it too. Some people are never gonna see the light of day when this comes out. Like, we're really just gonna be in our rooms for like a whole month. Oh my goodness. Moana. Is it like Newsies on stage or something? <laughs> I have not realized how much Disney is seriously in the DNA of who I am. At first glance, you probably think you're just getting the movies, but there's so many things that nobody realizes is Disney that is Disney, that this is basically as huge, 
if not bigger than any of those major streaming platforms. The last thing we're going to show you is a quick montage of all the new original shows exclusive to Disney+. Plus. Oh, okay. Wow. Let's look at it. A lot of documentaries and stuff. Another High School Musical. I was afraid at first that they were gonna try to like exactly copy High School Musical, but the fact that they're doing it like some kids at a high school making a musical about High School Musical, like it could be good. I'm gonna watch it. Whoa. The Mandalorian, I'm telling you dog. This is new content right here, baby, let's go. I'm excited for the older stuff, but I feel like when you put the word Disney and exclusive, everyone goes nuts. I like the like the looks inside Disney that they're doing. I know that stuff is like really exciting for fans of like the park and things like that to get a look inside of that. You don't have to go to the store to rent the videos. You don't have to wait till it's on. You have to record it when it's on. You get this and you got kids. Boom, instant videos for your children. It's a babysitter. So in recent years, it seems like more and more people are switching over to on-demand streaming services like Netflix or Hulu. So we're curious to see how your generation consumes television. So do you still watch traditional TV or have you adopted streaming services? I watch only streaming services. I think my TV has like three channels. TV went out like a while ago. Ever since like streaming services came up and they're so cheap, no commercials. Like that's a huge thing that like sometimes you'll be watching a show and it'll like hit the like climax point and then it'll hit you with like Dove. I still watch traditional TV. For me, it's just a convenient thing. I don't have that much time to sit there and search and this and that. I just like my remote and I just like my my uh, cable TV. We like canceled our cable subscription like two years ago. My parents did too, and we're all on Apple TV. I have one of the smart TVs where you can watch like YouTube and Netflix and Hulu on it. But when I'm like in the family room, I have I don't have a smart TV in there, so I just I flip through the channels and see what's new. I always watch it on my phone unless I have people over. Then I. Well, if I have people over, I connect my phone to my TV and watch it on there. So Disney Plus launches on November 12th, and it will cost $6.99 a month or $69.99 per year. Yeah, I think it's, I mean, it's cheaper than uh, Netflix and Hulu. So reports have also surfaced that episodes of their newer shows on the platform will be released on a weekly basis instead of releasing all the episodes of a season at once. So do you prefer to binge watch a TV show all at once or do you like having to wait week for week? I love to binge watch. I do love a good binge because if I'm out of town then can't watch it and I have to wait. If you're gonna wait, you might as well buy a regular TV, right? Because you're gonna have to wait anyway. I like all at once, but I think that's just like a like a short attention span thing that comes with being in my generation. People have become so accustomed to binge watching, so it's gonna force people to kind of still circulate in the Disney realm. I think I'm still kind of traditional. I would go with the week to week. If you binge watch, that's the same thing as people always on their iPhone. So finally, after seeing all of Disney Plus and what it has to offer, do you think that you'll want to sign up and use their streaming service? Of all of them out there, I'm saying there's a chance. I'm sold. Yes. I think I am going to. I will most definitely sign up for this. I want to get Disney Plus. Yeah, I'm in. I already did. I'm ashamed and proud at the same time. <laughs> I think I might actually, and especially my little sister. She'll probably convince my mom to get it, and she might not even have to convince her. My mom will probably be all for it herself. Hi, it's Brooke Monet, and sadly, this is my last Kids React, and it's okay, because I'm gonna be on Teens React now, so you guys can still watch me on Teens React. I just wanna thank all of you guys for watching me throughout the years that I've been on Kids React. Just thank you. Bye!